Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from EasyAutomation.com and in this video we are going to see how we can install Visual Studio in MacBook Pro powered by Apple Silicon M1 chip and Mac OS Pixar. In our earlier video we discussed how we can install Visual Studio code in MacBook Pro which is powered by Apple Silicon M1 chip and also we saw how we can install Node.js and how we can run puppeteers and stuff. But in this video we're going to see how we can install Visual Studio, the full-blown Visual Studio for Mac in Mac operating system Big Sur powered by Apple Silicon M1 chip. So I'm just going to go to the Safari and I'm going to go to the Visual Studio .microsoft.com and you can see we get a whole lot of things over here and the one which we are looking for is the Visual Studio for Mac. So I'm just going to go to the download Visual Studio for Mac over here. So I'm just going to click that. I'm going to say no thanks and that's going to start downloading the Visual Studio for us. So the Visual Studio for Mac is now downloaded. So I'm just going to double click this. And you can see that the Visual Studio for Mac is going to start installing. And once again, guys, the Visual Studio for Mac is not something like an Apple M1 Silicon supported version. It's the same Visual Studio for Mac, which is available for the Intel version. So this is the same Intel version right now that we are going to be installing. So you can see that the Visual Studio for Mac installation is now just starting. I'm going to hit OK to open it. And it is checking all the installation components it has already it has got and now i'm just going to hit continue and it tells all the different options here like whatever things that i need to be installing like dotnet core android ios and stuff so i'm just going to leave the basic default version for now the dotnet core because i know that the android sdk is not going to run uh, at the moment because android sdk is not supported for the MacBook Pro powered by M1 chip. So I'm just going to ignore this for now. And then I'm just going to install it and we'll see how the initial experience is going to look like. All right, so the installation is done right now. And it says that we need to install the command line tool for the Xcode to enable this version control features for Visual Studio for Mac. So I'm just going to install that tool as well right now because we don't really have the Xcode. I mean, I have not installed anything on the uh, Visual Studio code. And it says that I don't really have a battery because it's already 36%. I have charged only two times since the day I bought this Mac. And I'm just gonna continue on the battery power right now. But I'm in fact gonna charge the Mac in the meantime because I don't really need to over run my battery power as much as possible. All right, so now the software was installed. So I'm just gonna close this and then I'm gonna hit done, which means the Visual Studio is now fully installed. So now I can just close this and you can see that the Visual Studio is now going to open. And again, this Visual Studio is now gonna run on a transition layer, which is on the Rosetta 2. And you can see that it shows me that to sign in, I'm just gonna hit later. And then I'm just gonna use the Mac version because that's looking pretty good to me. And that's it, our Visual Studio for Mac is now fully installed on Visual Studio for Mac powered by Apple M1 chipset. So it's all good right now. And let's try to create a new project and we'll see how it actually works and how the performance is gonna look like. So once I click the new, it's a bit slower uh, comparatively, but um, we'll just go with what we have at the moment because that's what we have got. And I'm going to choose the console application. I'm going to hit next and I'm going to choose the .NET Core 3.1 or .NET 5 because both of the framework are currently cross-platform frameworks. So I'm just going to choose .NET 5 and I'm going to do a first test and I'm just going to leave all the projects and directories as it is. I'm going to hit create. There we go. The project is uh, going to be starting to build right now. And you can see that it has started building it and the restoration is also happening successfully. And I could see that the framework Microsoft.NET Core app version 5.0 is coming in, which is pretty good. So this is the Hello World program and let's try to run this code and see if it really works. So the build has started 
and because this is building for the first time maybe it's a bit slower and it's also showing the debugger over there and we got an exception this time and it doesn't really tell us anything on the stack trace information like what error is going on but there is some sort of error going on and it says that source not available so for some reason the code is actually not working if i try to run that and if i try to do it again let's see what's going to happen uh, it says the dotnet quits unexpectedly and we can try to hit okay uh, so you can see that nothing is actually happening pretty good so for some reason visual studio for mac is not really supporting of course it is not going to support because it is not written for apple m1 architecture so definitely there's going to be a problem and it is happening it's not like visual studio of code which also supports the arm processor uh, like we saw that it was working with the Apple architecture, but it is not going to support this time, at least for this version. So I could see that it is not working. So we'll try to create one more project and we'll see how it actually works. So for doing that, I'm going to create a new solution and I'm going to go to a, a test, maybe the end unit test. I'm going to select next. Maybe this time I'm going to choose the .NET Core 3.1 uh, because maybe the dotnet 5 is not being supported so first test with n unit i'm gonna hit create there you go so we should see the package being restoring so it's happening as well try to open the test explorer over here and we'll see if i could able to run the test from here at least so i'm just going to run the test so you can see that it shows a successful test this time, which is pretty good. At least it is not failing for us and it is working fine for us without any problem. So I will try to make the assert dot uh, fail just to see if that works. And I will also try to create one more test just in case test number two. And we'll try to do a console dot log. Sorry, console dot write line. Just went with the JavaScript now. And now I try to do a run oops sorry for that because it's a test project i need to run the tests like that so run tests and you can see that both the test is getting failed which is all right at least i'll try to make one test as pass so that we can see a positive result as well and i'm going to try running the test so I could go quickly and see what is happening with this particular test as well. Uh, show the result window and you can see that the test result is also coming and there is an output as test. So everything looking good, at least for the test. I think maybe the .NET version 5.0 is not being supported. Even if I try to do a console project with the .NET Core 3.1, it would have worked. But it proves a point that it is actually working. But not as much like how it works with the Intel architecture but yes Visual Studio is definitely working with the Apple M1 and if I try to quit this particular Visual Studio and if I try to open the Visual Studio we'll see how the experience of opening and uh, like transitioning to the Rosetta 2 happens so it's a bit slower but not that slower uh, but I could see that it is working fine as well so Pretty good guys so this is the installation of visual studio 2019 on apple silicon m1 chip powered machine and it is working as expected once again thank you for watching this video catch you in our next video installing intellij ide